Now I'd like to show you the upper trunk control supports that we will offer with the activity chair and the headrest support options. We'll start with the curved headrest. The headrest has the same fabric that we're using on our cushion, the urethane over foam. So now we'll mount it to the chair. You depress this white button and insert the headrest post. To adjust the angle of the headrest, I loosen these two knobs. Now I can rotate it forward to for forward and back adjustment. Or if I need a bit of occipital support, I can tilt it backwards like that. And then re-tighten the knobs when you're happy with your setting. There is an overall height adjustment for the headrest, again with this white button, which is also the removal point for this product. We have the same thing with a flat headrest. Same adjustment system for providing a flat headrest surface. For our trunk support options, we had a lot of requests for the ability to have asymmetrical trunk support. So we've separated the two trunk supports from each other. And there's a little metal tab, which I'm inserting into this backrest into an extrusion. Loosening the single knob, I can adjust the trunk support up and down vertically, in and out laterally to accommodate different widths. And I can also rotate it to the right angle. Okay, So that is all done with the one knob. And you can see that if we wanted to, we could get asymmetrical support or maybe a child with scoliosis where you want to hit the high spots of the curve to help correct that spine curvature. <clears throat> we also have a strap which can mount directly to the trunk supports. To add the chest strap to the trunk supports, what I do is I hold the chest strap up as though you imagine it on the child, and then take the tail end of the stamping and insert it through the loop. If you notice, this strap is now coming up toward the inside of the pad, which is good especially for children who don't fill up that space all the way to the front of the lateral support. And now the pad can be hugging their torso more tightly. You can also mount the strap to the outside of the pad to simply insert it toward the inside of the strap. And now our loop is coming toward the outside and we'll cross over the tip of the lateral support to come across like this. That's the way rift and seating has been so far. For some folks, <clears throat> this is more support than is what is needed. And the wide chest strap is adequate. And for that, we have, with the same mounting hardware, a simple wide strap, again the same urethane material, same mounting hardware. I can attach it directly to the extrusion with two knobs. For anyone who's familiar with the Blue Wave bathing system or toileting system, a single chest strap is often all that is needed to support some children. <clears throat> 